Hi, welcome back to Viper Airsoft. And today, immediately after my, e my, uh, uh, crap, my, um, oh, yeah, it was the Uzi. Yeah, immediately after my Uzi r review, and I have terrible memory, so that's why I'd actually, I had to actually look at the box, we are doing a look at the HK License MP7. Um, who it's made from, I don't know, because I didn't buy this gun brand new, I did not get the box, I didn't get anything from it except the magazine, the battery, and the gun. Now how is that, you ask? Well, I bought this at a yard sale. Get this, it was $3. And I looked up something similar to this one, I'm not sure if it was the exact one, but it was $50 brand new. Now, I take that as a score. This thing works perfectly. It has a high cap magazine, the battery stored up here in the handguard, flip up sights, and even in their down position they have easy to see paint. Extendable stock. It's even removable if you so choose to remove it. You have to pull it all the way back and do that. And you have a more compact package. Now, Unlike that Uzi I just reviewed, this one is select fire. It has single and full auto. This gun has a safe and then fire mode, not safe and only fire. And this also has an adjustable hop up right here. This little pad right here. Now, the only problem with this gun I have, and it's because of the actual magazine. There's, I'll, sh I'll show you after, but Hear that little click and then it pops out. Yeah, so when I'm using this, I have to kind of hold it in. So, yep, let's get straight into it. Full auto. I'm going to be aiming at that um, target on the tree right there. Now, rate of fire, pretty low, but that might be because the battery is dying. I haven't charged it in a while. Um, it's been maybe a good two months since I've used it. So if a battery holds charge that long, it's really good. Now, for power, I'm not going to test it on myself be because with the Uzi, I knew that was low power. But this one, I'm not going to stick my hand in front of it like this, how I did the Uzi, and pull the trigger. That's just dumb. So back into it. Not feeding. Still holding it. Am I already out of ammo? Another thing I like about this gun is its ambidextrous mag release right here there's a little pad and on the other side there's one too pull that down mag pops out huh oh I, I i can show you that thing that happened with the mag right now right here you see those little notches one's folded inwards that's why whoa that went dark there we go I'm sorry about that, folks. And the mag is a high cap. I'm gonna extend the stock. Now, actually below that, at the bottom of the base, right here, there are some targets. I'm, it's a test accuracy. I'm going to set it on single fire, and I'm going to actually take my time to shoot. I got that one. I heard metal, so I think I got that one.
Okay, with a little bit of adjustment to my hop up. That should be good. Again, these are small targets. They're designed to be estimating like what a target would be at 100 feet. So seeing as how I missed a couple shots on the first one and hit it, that's pretty good. Now, if this was full auto, I'd probably hit a lot more. Now let's try that just to be safe. Yep, I already hit wood. Now that person would be out. Now back to the actual target up at the tree. Is that frame? Yep, it is. I think I'm running out of ammo. Yep. All right. Now, overall, what would you use this gun for? Now, as a CQB weapon, very good. As a backyard airsoft we weapon, again, very good. As a mid-range open door, I mean open door, outdoor field, it's okay. It can shoot pretty far, it's pretty accurate. Um, doesn't have the best rate of fire for an outdoor field. Has a good capacity mag. Nice and sturdy. Not flimsy whatsoever. Um, now, what I would use this gun for. I would use this gun as a sidearm. I would take the stock off. Put a lanyard on. Keep it on my hip. So if my main gun runs out of ammo. I can just pull this out. Take off safety. Huh. Oh, I was between the selectors. Take off safety. And then I'm safe until I can reload my gun. And if I ever want the stock back on, just click it back into place. Adjust to my liking. There we go. Now, that was a pretty fast review. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. And subscribe. Click that bell notification icon and see you guys next see you guys next time.